Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ashland Middle School for Ashland Legion Baseball on WACA-TV in Ashland or HCAM Television in Hopkinton. Connor Donovan on camera, Tom Nappy on the call as 1-6-1 and one Ashland post-77 is set to take on Hudson. Hudson 5-3 and three on the season as post-100 comes up to the plate. Leading things off is the designated hitter, Ben Palatino, as Andrew Keim delivers the first pitch for a strike. Let's take a look at the Hudson lineup. Ben Palatino, the designated hitter, leading things off. Alex Borsari, the second baseman, batting second. Ben Cito, the left fielder, batting third. Wind up and the pitch down the third base line, and that will get in to left field for a base hit, rounding first, and he will go back to first for the leadoff single. That'll bring up Alex Borsari with a man on, no outs. Hitting cleanup for Hudson is Luke Chasen, the first baseman. Frankie Matus, the third baseman, is batting fifth. Sam Rosenfeld, the catcher, is batting sixth. Kyle Sullivan, the right fielder, batting seventh. Corey Thompson, the shortstop, batting eighth. And Kevin Falvey, the center fielder, batting ninth. As there's a strike to Alex Borsari, the second baseman. Oh and one. Jimmy Henry is the pitcher for Hudson. We'll take a look at the Ashland field in just a moment as runner leading off of first base. And a quick check in. A gorgeous, or a nice evening here, I should say. Getting a little cloudy now, but a cooler evening here compared to what we have had as of late. As there's a strike, runner taking off from first throw to second, and that is an easy steal for the speedy Ben Palatino. Let's take a look at the Ashland field. Andrew Keim, the pitcher. Zach Jacobs, the catcher. Jake Obit is over at first base, as stepping in now is Alex Borsari, back to continue his at-bat with a runner on second. That one's fouled away. Second baseman for post 77 is Michael Krupe. Mike Messier is the shortstop. Ronan Bates at third base from left to right. Sean Babineau, Mitch Porter, and Samir Sharma. This is down the third baseline in fair territory. Play over at third base, throw across the diamond, and the runner will beat it out. Uh, excuse me, actually, he will get thrown out for the first out of the inning, a 5-3 to three ground out. And that'll bring up Ben Cito. It looks like we had a couple positional changes from the original lineup. You have Mike Messier over at third base. And Michael Krupe is the shortstop. And Ronan Bates is at second base. So a couple late changes. As stepping in now is Ben Cito, and he will take ball one. Time set to deliver from the stretch. And that is fouled away. One and one on Cito. Ashland Legion led by head coach Derek Johnson. And Hudson led by Blair Brissett. Wind up and the pitch, that one down low. Two and one. Bencito at a Neshoba Regional High School, set to graduate next year. Kime from the stretch, runner on second, one out. And this is hit high in the air towards center field, towards the wall, and that's gone! That is going to clear the ballpark, and it's 2-0 Hudson. A two-run blast for Ben Cito. Getting a lot of power under that one. And that will bring up Luke Chasen, the first baseman. Over towards where he hit that ball. It is about 340 or so. One of the deeper parts of the ballpark. And actually, 
That actually cleared closer to the 360 mark. So even further. And that is probably the deepest part of the ballpark as this one's hit into right field. And that is towards the wall. That is going to drop in front of the wall. Chasen rounding first, heading over to second. The throw in is coming in. Chasen's going to keep going over to third base. And he is going to have a stand up triple. The first baseman legging it out, and that will bring up Frankie Matus, the third baseman, with a runner at third, and already two runs in for Hudson. Wind up and the pitch. Here's a strike. 0 oh and 1. Set to deal. Swinging strike, 0 oh and 2. Kime from the stretch. That one just low. Set to deliver, swinging strike. There's out number two. That'll bring up Sam Rosenfeld, the catcher. That's fouled away. Runner just 90 feet away as Rosenfeld awaits the pitch. And this is a liner past the shortstop. Another Hudson run is going to score on the RBI single by the catcher. Luke Chasen comes around. It is now 3-0 post 100. And Kyle Sullivan, the right fielder, will come to the plate. Kyle Sullivan out of Hudson High School. Takes ball one there. Graduated last year. Runner on first, two outs, three runs already in for post 100. And this is a bloop shot over towards the third baseman and it's dropped. So that is going to be an error, a miscommunication with the shortstop and the third baseman, and Sullivan will reach on the error. Sam Rosenfeld up to second, so now you have two on, two outs. Corey Thompson, the shortstop, to the plate. Time from the stretch. And this is hit into left field. That is going to drop down for a Oh, it's going to be foul. Looked like it was going to land fair, but just foul. So Thompson will go back. Hudson 5-3 and three coming off a couple of tough losses against first place Newton. As this is hit in the air, a high fly ball, foul on the third base side, and nearly caught by Messier in and out of his glove. That'll make the count 0 oh and 2. Messier playing that third base position. Time from the stretch. 
And this is up the middle into the second baseman's glove. Throw to first. He will get him. A 4-3 to three ground out for Thompson. And that will be the third out of the top of the first. But Hudson plates three runs as we head to the bottom of the first. Post 77 already at a 3-0 deficit. Bottom of the first, Ashland post 77 set to come up to the plate for the first time this evening. Let's take a look at the post 77 batting order. Jake Obid, the first baseman, stepping in to lead things off right now. Jimmy Henry is the Hudson pitcher. We'll get you the rest of the lineup after the first pitch. That's fouled away, 0 oh and 1. Batting second is the center fielder, Mitch Porter. Sean Babineau, the left fielder, batting third. Zach Jacobs, the catcher, hitting cleanup. Mike Messier, the third baseman, hitting fifth. Ronan Bates over at second base today, batting sixth. As that pitch is just low. Batting seventh, the pitcher, Andrew Kime. Samir Sharma, the right fielder, batting eighth. Michael Krupe, the shortstop, hitting ninth. As Jimmy Henry delivers. And that one just outside, two and one. Let's take a look at the Hudson Post 100 field. Jimmy Henry's battery mate is Sam Rosenfeld as this one is hit in the air. That's going to drop down into center field. A leadoff single for Jake Obid, and that will bring up Mitch Porter. Over at first base, Luke Chasen. Second base, Alex Borsari. Shortstop is Corey Thompson. Third baseman, Frankie Matus. From left to right, Ben Cito, Kevin Falvey, and Kyle Sullivan as Mitch Porter steps in. That one down low, one and oh. Henry set to deal. There's a strike, one and one. Jimmy Henry out of Neshoba Regional. Graduated this year. Checking at first, runner back safe. Henry set to deal. Swinging strike, blazes it by Porter. One and two. Runner leading off of first. That one down low. Two and two. Wide up and the pitch. And this is up the middle. Takes a couple hops on the infield. Grass flip to second for one throw to first. And that was a double play with perfection. A 6-4-3 to get two outs. And that will bring up Sean Babineau, the left fielder. Great flip by Thompson. Nice throw to first by Borsari, and they get the two outs. As the lefty steps in. There's a strike. There's strike two. Wide up and the pitch. Down low, one and two. Henry set to deal. And that is up the third base side. It is fair. Slow roller on the infield grass. Throw to first is going to pull Chasen off the bag. So Babineau will reach on the single. That'll bring up Zach Jacobs. As this is up the middle to the shortstop, throw to second, and they will get the final out, a six to four out on the liner by Zach Jacobs, and we will head to the top of the second with Hudson leading Ashland three to nothing.
HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by WPC Pest Control. Don't tolerate, eliminate your pest problem. You can find them online at WPCPest.com. Top of the second, the first pitch is going to be hit towards the shortstop. Throw to first is going to be there just in time. Good throw from the shortstop for the 6-3 to three ground out of Kevin Falvey, the center fielder. And that was a nice job by Ronan Bates as Ben Palatino steps in. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Andrew Keim hoping to settle down this inning after giving up three runs and four hits in the first. Leg lift and the pitch. Down low. One and one. Time set to deal. That's fouled away, one and two. Wind up and the pitch. And this is a slow roller on the infield grass. Picked up by Kime, throw to first, no problem. A one to three ground out, and that'll bring up Alex Borsari. Two outs in the inning. Alex Borsari graduated from Neshoba Regional this year. And takes ball one there. The righty awaits the pitch. The bunt, and it is on the infield grass. The throw over to first, not a problem. And they go down one, two, three in the second. To the bottom of the second we go, post 77 trailing at three to nothing. Bottom of the second inning, five, six, and seven due up for Ashland as Mike Messier, the third baseman, steps in. Set to deliver. That one is just low, one and oh. Mike Messier, Ronan Bates, Andrew Keim due up for Ashland. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Henry set to deliver. That one's down low, two and one. Henry deals, and this is up the middle. That is going to get into center field for a base hit as Messier will lead off the bottom of the second with a single. Ronan Bates will come up to the plate. Henry deals. That one just outside, one and oh. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Breaking pitch there. Henry checks in at first. Messier back safely. Wind up and the pitch. Just outside. Two and one. Set to deliver. That one outside as well. There's a strike, three and two, that'll fill up the count. Wind up and the pitch. 
And this is a fair ball on the infield grass, third base side, throw to first, and they will get the hitter. Messier advances to second. Good job rushing over by Henry. And there's one away, Andrew Keim to the plate. So runner on second, one out for post 77. Hudson with a 3-0 lead. Wind up and the pitch down low. Henry from the stretch. And this is launched over to the third baseman. That was a rocket right at the third baseman. Ended up going off his glove. A good piece of hitting by Kime. So that single pushes Messier up to third. Runners on the corners with one out for post 77. Samir Sharma will step in, the right fielder. And that pitch down low, runner taking off from first, throw to second, and that will not be in time. A stolen base by Kaim. Henry deals. And this is going to take a couple hops on the infield grass, fielded by the third baseman, throw to first, and they will get him. Good job by Matus at third base. Took a look at the runner, make sure he's not taking off, and then throw it over to first for the second out. And now Michael Krupe, the shortstop, will step in with two away and two on. Henry deals. Down low. One and O. Oh. Wide up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over towards left field and ranging over was Ben Cito to make the catch. And that will be the third out of the inning despite two runners reaching, no runs for Ashland as we head to the top of the third. It's three nothing Hudson. H Camp Sports is supported by our viewers and by Weston Nurseries, located at 93 East Main Street. You can find them online at westonnurseries.com. Top half of the third inning, Hudson back up to the plate with a 3-0 lead. Ben Cito, the left fielder, steps in. There's a strike. Cito in the first inning hit a two-run blast past the center field fence to drive in Ben Palatino. Just absolutely crushed the ball. And takes a whiff here, but swings and misses. Oh, and two. Line up and the pitch. Just inside, one and two. Set to deliver. And there's strike three. Nice breaking pitch by Keim, and that will bring up Luke Chasen. Time deals to the lefty. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Jason had a triple his last time up in the first inning and scored a run. 
as this is hit high in the air to left center, and it is going to be handled by Sean Babineau for the second out. Nice job by Babineau. Had to battle a few elements out there, and that will bring up Frankie Matus, the third baseman. Matus struck out his last time up in the first inning. And this is going to take a hop off the infield grass, fielded by the second baseman, throw to first, and that is in time. A nice job throwing off his back foot by Michael Krupe for the third out of the inning. A great play, and Hudson goes down one, two, three as we head to the bottom of the third, post 100, leading Ashland three to nothing. Bottom of the third, top of the order for Ashland. Jake Obed, Mitch Porter, and Sean Babineau. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit into right field foul. Obed had a single his last time up in the first. Despite four hits, no runs yet for Ashland. Henry set to deal. And there's strike two. Obid reaching for that one. Wind up and the pitch upstairs. Set to deliver. Just inside, two and two. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the middle on the ground, fielded at short, throw to first, one away. Now six to three. Now Mitch Porter to the plate. Wind up and the pitch. Just inside, one and O. Oh. He deals, and this is going to take a hop off the dirt in front of home plate, fielded by the third baseman, throw to first, not a problem, two away. A lot of those one hoppers off the lower grass or the dirt in front of home plate today. There's Sean Babineau, the left fielder, steps in. Wind up and the pitch, just high, one and oh. Henry deals, and this is up the middle, fielded by the second baseman, throw to first, not a problem. A four to three ground out, and Ashland goes down one, two, three in the third to the top of the fourth we go, Hudson leading three nothing. Top half of the fourth inning, Sam Rosenfeld, the catcher, steps in as Kime set to deal. And this is hit high in the air, foul at a play, 0 oh and 1. 6, 7, and 8 for Hudson here in the fourth. Rosenfeld, Sullivan, and Thompson. Catch the right fielder and shortstop. Leg lift and the pitch. That one got away from him. Looks like it might have slipped out of his hand there, 1 and 1. Time set to deal. And this is up the third base side and fielded by the third baseman. It was stopped by Messier, and he got the throw over in time. What a great play from the former Hopkinton Hiller, Mike Messier, to get the first out. And that will bring up Kyle Sullivan. That was just a great defensive play. Down the line by Messier, stopped it, could not glove it. 
but was able to get the throw over just in time as that one's fouled away. And Rosenfeld, he wasn't bad down the line either. Some decent speed. But Messier just with a great play on that. Some fast thinking as there's strike two. Keim deals. And that's fouled away. 0 oh and 2. Wind up and the pitch. Fouled away. Good battle here between Sullivan and Kime. Kime deals. Strike three. And it got away briefly from the catcher, Zach Jacobs. Throw to first, not a problem. Two away. Corey Thompson to the plate. As the shortstop will step in. Well, it's turned into a bit of a pitcher's duel since Kime gave up three runs in the first inning. Good pitcher's duel between Jimmy Henry and Andrew Kime as there's strike one. Oh, and one to Thompson. Wind up and the pitch. One and one. Thompson steps back in. Leg lift and the pitch. And this is up the middle, gloved by the shortstop. Throw to first a little bit high, but a nice job by Obid to pull it down. And that will be the third and final out of the top half of the fourth. To the bottom of the fourth we go. Hudson leading Ashland 3-0. Bottom of the fourth inning, Zach Jacobs, the catcher, stepping in as Jimmy Henry set to deal to the righty. And that pitch just outside, 1 and 0. Oh. 4, 5, and 6 for post 77. Jacobs, Messier, and Bates do up. And this is hit in the air towards center field. A little chop there, and it's handled by Falvey for the first out. One away. It'll bring up Messier to the plate. Wind up and the pitch. Down low, one and oh. Henry set to deliver. Inside, 2 and 0. Oh. Monsieur, in his only at bat, hit a single back in the second. That one outside. 3 and 0. Oh. Messier having a nice game so far, both defensively and offensively. And there is ball four, so Messier continues having a nice game offensively. That'll bring up Ronan Bates with one on and one out. Runner leading off of first, Henry set to deal. Down low, got away from the catcher, and that is going to be an easy advance for Messier. So Messier advances on the wild pitch to second base. Henry set to deal, runner leading off of second. There's a strike. Henry going to call out Sam Rosenfeld to have a chat. Of 
quick chat between the battery mates. Henry deals. There's a strike. One and two on Ronan Bates. For those of you just joining us, you're watching Ashland Legion Baseball on WACA TV in Ashland or HCAM Television in Hopkinton. Wind up and the pitch. Swinging strike, and Bates will go down. That'll be the second out. Andrew Keim, the pitcher, is going to come up to the plate and try to help his own cause. Runner on second, two outs. Ashland trailing three to nothing. Here in the bottom of the fourth. Checking at second, runner back safe. Keeping the runner on his toes there. Wind up and the pitch. Fouled away. Oh and one. Henry deals just outside on the breaking pitch, one and one. Wind up and the pitch, swinging strike. One and two as Kime chased that one. And there's strike three. That'll do it for the bottom half of the fourth. To the top of the fifth we go. Ashland trailing three to nothing. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Golden Pond Assisted Living. Honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. You can find them online at goldenpondassistedliving.com. Top half of the fifth inning, Hudson back up to the plate. Kime set to deal, the wind up and the pitch. And this is on the ground to the shortstop. Throw to first, not a problem. Nice play there by Bates. A six to three ground out for the center fielder, Kevin Falvey, and that'll bring up the leadoff hitter, the designated hitter, Ben Palatino. Palatino, one for two today, singled and scored a run in the first, also has a stolen base to his credit. There's a strike, 0 oh and 1. Wind up and the pitch. There's strike two. Kime deals, swinging strike out number two. Alex Borsari to the plate, the second baseman. Wind up and the pitch, down low, one and oh. And this is third base side, fair territory. Played by Messier, throw to first, is going to pull the first baseman off the bag, but they are going to say that Obid Reach is able to lay the tag on Borsari, so what a great play by Jake Obid over at first base as he reached to get Borsari, and that was a far reach as well. Nice job by Obid. As we head to the bottom of the fifth, it's 3-0 Hudson. Bottom of the fifth inning, Samir Sharma, the right fielder, steps in. That's fouled away, 0 and 1. 8, 9, and 1 due up for post 77. Sharma, Krupe, and Obit. Wind up and the pitch. There's strike two. 0 and 2 on Sharma.
set to deliver down low. The one two pitch. And this is a slow roller on the infield grass. Sharma fast down the line. Throw to first is low, but in time. A one to three ground out, and Henry just was barely able to get that throw off. But a nice play for the first out of the inning, and now Michael Krupe to the plate. As the lefty will step in. And this is up the middle, and it is going to be played by the second baseman, but he is not going to be able to get the throw there. Nice job stopping it from getting it into the outfield, however, by Alex Borsari. So that's a single for Krupe. And now Jake Obid steps in. One out single as Obid awaits the pitch. There's a strike. Henry checks in at first, runner back safe. Runner leading off of first, and this is hit in the air, chopped to center field, and it is going to be caught. Runner will stay put at first. Two away for Mitch Porter. Runner on first. And this is third base side, fair territory. The throw over is going to pull the first baseman off the bag. And I think you had to give that one an error on Matus. I look like a routine grounder. So Porter will reach, Krupe up to second, and now Sean Babineau to the plate. First error of the game for Hudson. Wind up and the pitch. Up the middle, gloved by the pitcher, throw to first, not a problem. And despite two runners reaching, Post 77 still remains scoreless as we head to the top half of the sixth inning. It's 3 nothing Hudson. Top half of the sixth inning, Ben Cito at the plate, and he will hit this one up the middle into center field. That's going to be a leadoff base hit for Ben Cito. So a leadoff single will put the left fielder at first base with no outs. As now coming to the plate is Luke Chasen. Wind up and the pitch from Kaim, a swinging strike. Chasen in this game, one for two, tripled in, scored a run in the first inning. As he'll take that one low. Takes a look over at the coach and now set to step back in. Time deals, swing strike. And there's another one. He goes down swinging, one away with one on. That'll bring up Frankie Matus, the third baseman. Matus looks down the line and steps in. Bencito leading off of first. The wind up and the pitch. He's going to be outside. Throw up the middle to try to get the attempted steal from Cito is going to be unsuccessful. 
Good throw up the pike by Jacobs, but Cito beats it out with the stolen base. As Matus once again looks down the line and steps back in. The righty awaits the pitch. As there's a swinging strike. I'm pitching a pretty good game. Gave up three runs in the first, and that's the only damage that the Hudson Bats have done all game long. As this one is hit up the middle, fielded over at short, throw to first, and they will get him. Runner does advance to third. So score that one a six to three for out number two. That'll bring up Sam Rosenfeld, the catcher, with two outs and a runner on third. Two outs. Line up and the pitch. And this one up the middle. That is fielded by Messier. Throw to first, no problems. A six to three ground out will retire the side in the sixth inning as we head to the bottom of the sixth. Three nothing Hudson. Bottom of the sixth inning. A 3-0 lead for Hudson as they had a runner on third last inning. But despite that, the post-77 defense came through as Zach Jacobs steps in. And this is third base side foul. 0-1. Oh 4-5 and, and 6 do up for Ashland. Line up and the pitch, upstairs. That one just inside. So this has been a nice pitcher's duel between Jimmy Henry and Andrew Keim. Here's Henry Deals. And this is hit in the air to right field. And it will be caught by Kyle Sullivan. One away. Mike Messier to the plate. Wind up and the pitch. That one gets away. One and O. Oh. Messier one for one and also walked in the fourth inning. And it's had a couple very nice defensive plays down the line at third base. That one low, two and O. Oh. Henry deals. That's fouled away. Two and one. Set to deliver, down low. Time called. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike that'll fill up the count. Henry deals. That one is going to hit Messier. So he has reached base every time at bat. And now Ronan Bates will step in with a runner on first and one out. And this is up the middle, glove by the shortstop. He'll step on second for one and the throw to first for two. And how about that? Corey Thompson.
getting the job done. And that will wrap up the bottom half of the sixth. To the seventh we go, Hudson with a 3-0 lead. Top half of the seventh inning, 7-8 seven, and 9 due up for Hudson. Wind up and the pitch, it's a bunt down the third base side and foul. Sullivan steps back in. Wind up and the pitch. That one down low, one and one. Set to deliver. And this is up the middle, gloved by the shortstop. Is he going to get the throw in time? No. So Sullivan reaches on the single. Good piece of hitting there. And that'll bring up Corey Thompson. Sullivan leading off of first. That one down low. One and O. Oh. Thompson steps back in the box. Runner leading off of first. There's a strike. One and one. Time from the stretch. And this is down the, up the middle, and that is going to go off of the second baseman in the center field. And the throw to third will hold the runners up. But you can mark Corey Thompson for a single, two on, no outs. And that'll bring up Kevin Falvey, the center fielder. Time from the stretch. Bunt, foul. Oh, and one on Falvey. Wind up and the pitch. That bunt is up the middle, climb to third, and that is not going to be in time. Everybody's safe. So now you have bases loaded with no outs for Hudson, and Ben Palatino, the DH, coming to the plate. A chance to add some security here for post 100. That one outside, one and oh. Kime set to deliver. And this is up the third base side, gloved and thrown a home to get the lead runner. And a nice play by Messier, good awareness there. So Ben Palatino reaches on the five to two force out. And Sullivan cut off, Thompson up to third, Falvey up to second, and now you got Borsari to the plate. So base is loaded now with one out. The bunt up the middle, slow roller down the third base line, one run is in, and everybody's going to be safe, four nothing Hudson. An RBI bunt for Borsari. Thompson comes around to score. Falvey up to third. Palatino up to second. Bencito to the plate. One for two with a homer in the first inning. And he will take a strike there. Wind up 
Wide up in the pitch. And that is off the pitcher going to bounce high in the air. Glove by Messier. Throw to first is off the mark. Another run is in. And that was just a piece of hitting you really could not do much about. Tough for Kime to get any sort of play on that one. And Cito has an RBI single. Kevin Falvey comes around. Palatino up to third. Borsari up to second. And now head coach Derek Johnson going to come out and check on Andrew Kime as Zach Jacobs already out there checking on him. No warm-up action for post 77. We'll see if Kime stays in the game. Might want to get a look at a few throws. And he's going to walk it off. See if he can stay out there. And he will. So Kime fighting through the pain there. And that was certainly a tough one to take. It looked like it hit him on the lower leg. Lou Chasen stepping in. That one up high. One one count on Chasen. And this is up the middle to the second baseman. Throw to second, and they'll get one, but another run is in. Ben Palatino comes around. Ben Cito cut off. Borsari to third, and Chasen gets the RBI. And mark him for his sacrifice on that one as Frankie Maida steps in. It's now a 6-0 lead for Hudson as there's a strike. Wind up and the pitch. And this is into left field. That'll drop in. Another run around a score as Borsari comes around. And it's 7 0 Hudson. We'll talk about security. As Chasen moves up to second. Frankie Matis. You can mark him with an RBI single. Hudson has batted around as Sam Rosenfeld will come up. Rosenfeld steps in as Kime will work from the stretch. That one just low, one and oh. He deals. That one low as well. Time from the stretch. And this is up the middle and glove by the shortstop after a bobble there to throw to first is not in time. So that means Chasen up to third. Made us up to second and the base is loaded as Rosenfeld is at first for Kyle Sullivan. Two outs in the inning. Sullivan's second time up this inning, led off with a single as this is hit in the air over to right field, and it is caught for the third out of the inning by Samir Sharma, but added security for Hudson. They add four more. They lead 7 nothing, heading to the bottom of the inning. Andrew Kime steps into the plate. Ashland down to their final three outs, and there is ball one. One and O oh as Jimmy Henry working on the complete game shutout. As this is hit into right field, foul. One and one. Seven, eight, and nine do up four post 77. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the middle. That'll drop into center field. A leadoff single for Kime. Samir Sharma up to the plate. Come 
Right up in the pitch, down low. One and oh on Sharma. From the stretch. And this is popped up in the air. Foul territory on the right side. And it is going to be bobbled and dropped by Luke Chase. And a nice effort, however. Hudson adding four more runs to start the seventh. Now a 7 nothing lead. Wind up and the pitch. Inside. Set to deliver. And that is up the middle and bobbled by the shortstop. The runner at second is going to keep going as Thompson lost it. And that'll put runners on the corners with no outs. Well, Sharma reaches on the bobble, the second Hudson error of the game, and that'll bring up Michael Krupe. Well, the shutout on the line now for Jimmy Henry. That one inside, one and O. Oh. Nice job by Rosenfeld. Not letting that one get by. Henry deals upstairs. Wind up in the pitch. And this is hit in the air. Foul territory on the left side out of play. Make it two and one. Henry from the stretch. And this is in foul territory on the left side and out of play, out of the reach of the left fielder. Two and two now. Set to deliver. There's strike three. One away. That'll bring up Jake Obid. Obid, one for three today, had a single in the first inning. As this is fouled away, 0 oh and 1 towards us. Henry deals. And this is up the middle, slow roller on the infield grass, fielded by the third baseman, throw to first, and they will get the out, but the first post-77 run of the day comes around. As Andrew Kime scores. And you can give Jake Obed the sacrifice RBI ground out on that one. Ashland down to their final out, however, as Mitch Porter steps in. Wind up and the pitch. That is off of Porter. Took that one off the back, and he will get a free pass over to first. It's now two men on as Sharma pushes up to second. Babineau to the plate. Two on, two outs. A run in for post 77, but they trail 7 to 1. And this is hit up the left side. That will drop down. Runner being waved around third. Sharma going to try to score. And he will score the second post-77 run of the game. RBI single by Sean Babineau. Mitch Porter up to second. Zach Jacobs the catcher to the plate. Well, it ain't over till it's over. As Jacob steps in. 
There's a little bit of warm-up action for Hudson. Line up and the pitch down low. Leo Coelho getting loose. In case Henry continues to struggle. As this is hit in the air, a high fly ball in playable territory and handled by the third baseman, Frankie Matus. Well, that will wrap up a tough loss for Ashland post 77. The final score, Hudson 7, Ashland 2. Post 77 does get two runs in the bottom of the seventh, but just not enough. Hudson started the scoring early on as they had three runs in the top half of the first. A two-run homer by Ben Cito, followed up later by an RBI single by Sam Rosenfeld, which scored Luke Chasen, who tripled after that two-run homer was hit. And then four security runs on the top half of the seventh for Hudson as they just rallied in the top of the seventh. Eight hits in that inning alone for Hudson as they added security in that inning. And they certainly had a lot of confidence heading into that bottom of the seventh with the added security. Overall for Hudson, seven runs on 13 hits. They committed two errors, while Ashland post 77 scored two runs and had seven hits overall and committed an error. A tough loss for post 77. They fall to one seven and one. Hudson improves to six and three overall. This has been a presentation of Ashland Legion Baseball on WACA TV in Ashland or HCAM Television in Hopkinton. We thank you for tuning in. For Connor Donovan on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.